Good day guys. Check it out, it's friggin' snowed. Freak sakes. Didn't snow much though, so I'm grateful for that. But um, yeah, I'm getting the seats out of this thing because it's absolutely ridiculous. These seats, when I'm sitting, my head's almost hitting the roof. It's friggin' stupid. And my knees hit the steering wheels. Well, that's no good. Also, that bunch of carpet right there, that little clump right there, yeah, she's friggin' I uh, can't, I just can't. My boot gets stuck between the brake pedal and the carpet and I can't press on the gas, so I'm gonna be cutting that little bit out and then it should be good to go. Anyways, I'm almost done getting this seat out. This bolt's being a son of a bitch. got her. It doesn't even look that bad. What the hell? This is a friggin' snap-on impact gun. It does like 850 or 1,000 foot-pounds or something like that. This is crazy, and it barely got that bolt out. So, and the clays. I'll be putting the 400 seats in here, uh, and then when I get some money, I'll friggin' pick up another set of 400 seats. And then swap the corner seats back into there and put whatever ones I get into here. Because I need some seats for here. And I'm not taking parts from Beastie and putting them into this truck. I just won't do that. I'm doing it temporarily, but that's it. So anyways, I'll shut up, get this thing out, and then uh, put the corner seat in. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm not putting the foreigner seats in here. <laughs> they don't fit. Damn it. I'm not gonna go bother swapping tracks either, frigate. Well, the mat had to go. I cut a chunk out of it and it looked really stupid, so I pulled the entire thing out. It looks better like this anyways. No more freaking hideous mat. But uh, yeah, check it out. Freaking use uh, the gas pedal now. Yeah, before it was like, freaking press on the brakes every time I press on the gas. Or I had to drive like this, with my freaking heel down there, and to push in the clutch, my leather foot was like this. It's like, frick, come on, that's not comfortable. Now I can freaking drive it like, like how you're supposed to drive it, comfortably. Yeah. So, I am selling the Volkswagen transmission tomorrow. Um, I quickly found top dead center on it, so I don't need it anymore or top dead center on the motor so I don't need the transmission anymore. Stupid thing about this engine is in order to find top dead center you have to friggin bolt the transmission and the clutch back up. Because it's uh, it's got that offset hole and instead of putting top dead center or an indicator on the friggin uh, harmonic balance here, they've got it here on the clutch. It's friggin stupid. Right there. So freaking had to throw that back on and now I got her marked on the on the freaking harmonic balancer that mark lines up in the center of that pulley and that mark lines up in the center of that pulley good enough for now I'll get a punch and friggin punch it somewhere and make sure that I can line it up with something more permanent than permanent marker but uh, yeah so it's really freaking cold outside. I'm gonna be working on those flanges again, the turbo flanges, because I want to get that done. My buddy Sean, uh, he grabbed me another couple plates today and uh, I told him what I did with them already and he's like, man, you should bring those in, I want to see them. So, yeah, bring them in and show them. That'd be cool. Still can't find my gas tank bolts and it's really starting to piss me off. Like, I've looked under and around everything, and they are not there. They're not anywhere. Well, they're, they're somewhere, but uh, not anywhere that I know. Frig sakes. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. If I could even just find one, then it would tell me where the rest of them are, because I put them down in a group, so it's not like I'm going to put one there, and one friggin' over there, and the other one in the truck, and another one friggin' in the house. I guess stupid, so... Yeah... Anyways, I'll get to those flanges. 
Well, um, <laughs> I, uh, I've been busy inside because I don't, I don't feel like freezing my nuts off outside. Um, hopefully I'm not, not going to get in trouble for this, but I uh, brought the turbo flat or freaking hot side turbo inside the house. And um, what I basically did was I took a piece of paper, uh, laid it down, I smunched on top of all the holes so I could get the bolt pattern of it, cut out the holes, put it down, and then uh, I pressed around with my finger around the outside and then around the inside and everything. And now I've got a gasket uh, or a flange template. So this is basically what I need to make out of steel. That fits really good. Oh, I'm doing this down in the dark. But, uh, yeah, it fits good. I need to adjust the holes a little bit. But uh, when I make it, I will be friggin' hogging out the holes a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, so maybe I'll uh, cut a piece of plate steel off my little welding bench kind of ground table thing and see if I can't use the torches at work because I, I, I really don't want to do all that with an angle grinder that would suck um, especially hogging out the the middle sections those absolutely suck um, so yeah I'll maybe see if I could borrow one of the torches or something at work it won't take me long to cut it out so yeah. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's it for for today. I'm friggin' tired as friggin'. It's cold out, and uh, it's 7:41. So it's about quitting time. So, anyways, until tomorrow. <laughs> Take care, guys.